you don't weigh very much, you be like, eh. he, probably li he probably lives, he probably sleeps in an L sit. Thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> Played softball for about five years. Okay. I was in a drinking league though. So, you know, it was a fun, more fun, more for fun. I played baseball growing up as well. And the, um, the L sit? Uh, else it should be fun. You know, I mean, not really fun. Actually, really terrible. But uh, I can do them. So. And what was the other one? Handstand walk. How about that one? Yeah, yeah. I'm not not really worried about that one too. Uh, I can do handstand walk. I mean, if you get a victory, it always helps out. So it uh, it definitely felt great, man. I, I'm I was pretty happy with that. So it's hard not to be. What is your weakness? What what would you not like to see coming? Uh, you know, obviously a lot of guys are bigger than I am. So you know, you, you see, it's like pure strength movements like a, like a real heavy deadlift or a real heavy just straight up press you know those aren't those aren't my top movements I'd say so that, that those I wouldn't like to see those come up but I'm sure they will what are you drinking a little coffee Zeb what are you guys up there now Josh right, I'm in the military you. thanks man all right yeah and how do you train for the, the games and being in the military you know, you just uh, you get your workouts in when you can. You know, there's a, there's a lot of time for working out, so it's good. Do your bosses um, cooperate with your training schedule? Do you have cooperation with that? Uh, uh, it's all on me, basically. You know, I mean, it's I get my workouts in when I get them in. You know, sometimes after work, sometimes during work, if I can. You know, so. And how long have you been in? Been in for about four years. A little over four years. If you weren't in the military, would your training be different? Does it take? Does, is it difficult juggling both? Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, I don't have. To, I don't get to just concentrate on working out all day long. I mean, and I'm, not, I'm not sure there's a lot of people here are the same predicament I'm in. But uh, you know, if I could be in the gym all day, that would obviously be optimal. So, but I can't. So I get him. I get him in when I can. And how did you get introduced to CrossFit? A buddy of mine told me about it, and. Uh, like everyone else, just just loved it right off the bat. So. Oh, you can throw a ball. Not for real. <laughs> Good friend. Thank you, Remy. CrossFit Chicago, Elizabeth Ashton, with her first throw, Amanda Allen. In lane nine from the middle of the week. I'm telling you, you man, that was a good event for you? Yeah. Yeah? I like that. Are they all good for you? You like all the events? Well, we only have two. <laughs> right now, the first one was surviving experience for the swim so I'm just glad I did it. I it was just so hard and uh, but the, that, I like that one. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Different. Surprising. And uh, how was your mindset? It seems like you're like on a steady stream of just happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here and you know, worry about uh, all year long. So I feel like being upset right now would be just either a waste of energy or I just, you know, I feel so lucky to be here that it's just like enjoy every moment as hard as I can and then give your best. You cannot be disappointed if you try your best all the time. Another good rep in there's a standing for you. Three, two, one, go! Fifteen seconds in, everyone looking strong. I actually am like I, I I don't know like last year like when, you're itching right now yeah last year I, I, I didn't really love the event I love these events like softball toss and, Jesus Christ I used to used to play long toss and like you know our, our teammates would you'd be throwing the ball from like end to the end to end of the football field so this is like right up my alley but uh, handstand walk, no thank you. I'll sit, I'll pass on that one. Snatch, I'll take, I like the snatch. Way to pull up, that's my bad.
good job. That's so good. I was like, I really want to pass that thing. And then he said, try to go more to a right. I was like, Which nope. Right? <laughs> you owned it. You're like, it's the win, it's the win. Good job. That was awesome. See, you made that look easy. Effortless effort. Boom. It didn't start to get difficult until like when I fell. It was like the last 10 steps or something. Mm -hmm. Well done, thing, right? So oh, I could have done more. Give me another well chance. Done. But that was perfect pace. <laughs> Great. You had fun with it? Yes. Awesome. Annie, how um, important is it for your headspace that you do well on events? Um, it's not necessarily necessarily important to win events. The main thing is I want to do the best that I know I can do. I get annoyed with myself or frustrated when I know I could have done better. I thought I would feel worse right now, but I feel pretty good. I didn't really, I wasn't really happy about the outset and the ball throwing and all that, but whatever, we have plenty to go. Where were you in event one, the one, the, the beach one this morning? Where in that event did you settle in and feel comfortable? When I started running. The, the first run? Yeah, the first run. Yeah, as soon as you got Like the, the water, it, I thought it would be easier. I was planning on being like in top five out of the water. But being the 19th out of the water, I think, 19th or 20th or something, it was just, it was so much water and kicking and people in your face and water in my mouth and just, it was different than I thought it would be. So just right when I came to the shore, I was like, okay, now I can do my thing. Now I know what to do. Put some air on it, Jessica, right here. We may have a new leader of the girls. Yeah, Jessica. This is Yami, my coach, my boyfriend Frederick, and Carl, my coach. And, and, la and last year you had one coach. Yes, this year I have two. <laughs> is it better than your coaches? It's better. Like, I need coaches. I can program for other people, but I can't program for myself and do stuff that I don't want to do. Not that they program just stuff that I don't want to do. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's really good. Like. They focus on Carl gives me the gymnastic stuff mostly and how to transfer it into everything in CrossFit and all that and then I have the mobility guy and with the rest of the programming so it's it's a really good team. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. Hey, Rich, I saw you stumbling out there. And the I know. It's gonna go down. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of did a little side, little side shuffle. Go back. And uh, what, what kept you on your feet or on your? Knees? Uh, my hands. <laughs> I have no idea. Did you think you were gonna go down? No. I just was like, ooh, that ain't good, and then kind of recorrected myself. So. Did you hear the crowd get into it when you yeah. connected? Yeah, yeah. I, I could hear him going, oh, so I was like, ah, pull it out of there. Have you ever walked on your hands in front of a crowd of uh, 3,000 people? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever done that. How about you? Have you done that? No. <laughs> What'd you get, Dan? 
Good job. Good one. 149.11. Hurt. <laughs> Feels good. Where, where did that hurt? My fingers. My fingers hurt. My shoulders already hurt from whatever. I don't know if that's what, but. What did you place in the softball though? Yeah. Top 10 maybe? I don't know. I got it over the logs. Okay. And uh, what did you place in the hand walk? The hand walk? I think yeah. first. I'm not sure though. It's close. And the L sit? Decent, not great. I'm not sure, 100% sure. So. <laughs> softball it's like is that the volleyball or well I had no idea what that was but I guess it's different you always want something different here and so this was hopefully the different event it seemed like they weighed it appropriately in terms of the score wouldn't you say even though you're saying it's not an ideal event how'd you feel about the way they scored it um it's different I think it's all right it makes it more fun when you have the smaller events like Holding an L sit doesn't matter like 100%, and throwing a ball, I'm really glad that it doesn't matter 100%. But like some of the events I would have wanted as a 100% event, like the one rep max is snatch. I want that, that as a one event, and you have longer time, you actually go up to your one rep max. That event is not gonna be one rep max, it's gonna be like 80%, probably. It's two, three lifts at most. So you thought the strategy for all of the workouts? Well, of course I think about it. I mean, as soon as you see it, you get excited and you want to stress your life. Are these guys helping you? <laughs> yes. To stress your life? Yes. <laughs> we're, stra we're strategizing all day. All day, all night. <laughs> yes. You know it. You're inventing your own language? Yes. Yeah, later on, hopefully make it cool. How many people didn't get past the first event? I think just uh, two on the men's side of the house and two on the ladies' side of the house, I think. Now, and why didn't the women, who, I don't know the story about the women, but what happened with the women? One of the women, um, it was one lady who was a European, I think her first name's Helga, um, and the second lady is a Cordner, Deborah Cordner, uh -huh. um, and I think both of them, from what I read, I think just you know, came in for some sort of, I believe, safety thing, you know, like I don't know if they weren't comfortable or or whatnot, but made the call to, to come on in. Cause that's just a different, it's a different beast, you know, like a lot of people don't swim, period. And then if they do swim, they swim in a pool usually, which there's no one in your lane. Then you add, if you just swam by yourself in an ocean, it gives people the creeps for a little bit or freaks them out. And then you put 40 to 50 people clustered together and in chops and in wave and arms are kicking you and people are, you know, I think it's just a kind of a freaky environment if you're not used to that environment. I'm, sh I'm shocked a little bit. Uh, I, I wouldn't have thought four people already would have been out. 
I would have thought, I wouldn't be surprised that to learn some people are uncomfortable in that environment just because, you know, from being in the Navy and whatnot, you know, that it's, we did a lot of that stuff when I'd see guys freak out. So I know it happens, but I just, uh, I would have thought they'd have managed to get out of the water, but you never know. I mean, what's, what's comfortable and casual for one person is a nightmare for another person. So I just think it kind of puts the people out of the comfort zone. You're comfortable sitting half naked at the Blue Oyster. What's the Blue Oyster? See, that was a trick question. If I knew what it was, I'd have failed the test. 35 minutes to 30, right? Which I mean. What if, but what if we can improve this to 20? What's your job here? I am <laughs> trying to figure that out. I'm a television director. Can't you tell by all my paperwork? Yeah, I spoke to you the other day. You did. And you said you'd be in the truck, and now you're... I'm not in the truck. I lied. You're a desk job. I lied. I've been demoted. Been demoted to production assistant. Day one, how are the stress levels? Um. Have you seen Tony Budding lose his shit yet? No, Tony Budding has been incredibly calm to this point. Um, if tonight goes as it could, I might lose my shit. But I think we'll be all right. We're working toward it. It is still a work in progress. Oh. Miranda, by the way, has done an unbelievably good job. I think she has an incredible future in the business. I actually got a call from ESPN. They said, who is that girl? I told them I represented her, so hopefully I get 10%. That's right. That's right. Was that good? Yes, thank you. Uh, there you go. Has there been any profanity or nudity or anything that, that you guys had to bleep out? Uh, no, there's been profanity and nudity in the truck. But not, um, on, but on not the, in front of the camera. Not on the air. I understand there were some lost bathing suits in the ocean, but they seemed to be replaced before we saw the athletes. Thankfully, I think, in a lot of ways. There was almost some lost athletes. Yeah, I thought we were going to lose at least two per heat, so... Seven. After this heat, thanks. <laughs> that makes me official right there. Hey, what do you, what do, you do here? Uh, just walk around, look pretty. So are you in charge of one of the trucks out there? Uh, I don't know if I'd say in charge, but I'm uh, running around in one of them primarily and running around to the other one. And what do you do? <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> are, you, are you in charge of production um, at all? Because I've been told that I'm not allowed on the field. Do you have any control over that? No. Okay. No control over that. You can't get me a pass onto the field? Mm-mm. So what was it like um, directing every second counts? How was that? Was that a good experience? Or would you rather? What's up? Dude, your brain's not working. <laughs> it's not, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I can't. I can't even be funny or smart. Or, uh... Okay, you know, Come on, bro. We're bros. We're bros. <laughs> yeah, John. What's up? Oh, where are you? Uh, in the TV studio room. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> you used to be fun. Hey, Matt, my phone went dead. What color was your bag? I know. Man. Wow, this this room is just where all the shit's going down. All the talent rolls in. Justin Grunler. <laughs> Justin Grunler. I think uh, Bill and Justin are doing the voiceover. It's like, what time is it? Like 3.30? We're two and a half hours from broadcast time. Here's our lineup, the show lineup, three hours worth of TV. And it's the usual fear and adrenaline, two and a half hours before showtime. Gotcha. We're going to make it, though. There, there's, the, there's the two little rest. Just go old school, just put the camera mic really close to his face. Well, they don't, that's what we don't want to do. Calm anticipation for the week until the first major surprise was revealed, which was... Okay, and that's nine seconds right there. Okay, so you can probably slow it down. Another second. No, just, just slow it down. Just go way middle because it was like slow paced, slow music. Yeah, but I want to have, have excitement. Yeah, but that's not a. Do you guys care? Do you see that as an exciting shot or is it like mellow? It's exciting because they're giving a. Yeah, I know, but it like builds. I mean, that melt, like, the music was all mellow and everything too. It's kind of dramatic, though. It's just sort of quiet. Okay. I haven't seen it. Well, we'll try it. We'll see what it, we'll okay. see what it looks like. You ready? Okay, hold on. Oh, this shit has gotten artsy. Uh, that's what we do, dude. <laughs> that's what we do. I didn't know you guys gave a shit. <laughs> Way more than you know, my man. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. In cross the fashion. Go. The athletes arrived on Tuesday morning in calm anticipation for the week until 
the first major surprise which we build, which was... Man, that was slower than the last one, or faster than the last one. All right, we need to throw something else in there then. So right. you guys are going to go back and forth? Is that it? No, 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 I'm no, no. Do the first, I'll do the next the one. He'll read this set. one. Then that next one that you said was the man's, he's going to do that one. Okay. Since I'm not going to be here for the rest of this, I'm uh, leaving. What, what is the exciting part? What, like, what is the exciting thing you're talking about? The swim test was revealed. Oh, okay, cool. All right, see yeah. you guys later. Right, back see you later. Time. See you later, Stefan. All right, later. The men's weight, 145 for five, 165 for four, 185 for three, 205 for two, 225 for one. Five rope climbs, five 145 pound swing and turn. Four rope climbs, four 165 pound swing and turn. Three rope climbs, three 185 pound swing and turn. Two rope climbs. Uh, five clean and jerks, four rope climbs, four clean and jerks, three, three, two, two, one, one. How many rope climbs total is that? How big were you guys up until that point? Fifteen? Yeah, if you want. What do you think about rope climbs? I like it. Opening ceremony. Of this workout, is it, is it head talk? Is it considered heavy? No. I think for the athletes here, this is not a heavy workout. This is a this is a sprint. Uh, the thing is, grip will go. Um, I don't see many people staring at the weights as they're down there. I, I see people staring at the rope. I would love that. The grip's gone or wind's gone. Rope climbs are surprisingly taxing cardiorespiratorily. So I'm thinking round one's gonna be blast. Round two, you'll hit it, and like the first at the first two, maybe the first rope climb, you can see people standing around. Uh, it's gonna be a fast workout though, because it's only five, four, three, two, one, right? But I think it's What's that put it at? 15, 15? 15 rope climbs, 15 cleans? It's definitely sub five minutes. Um, well, actually, not definitely sub five minutes, now that I say that. Just enjoy yourself. Describe the next event to me. Is it, would you consider it heavy? Is it a sprint? I think both heavy and sprint. It's um, body weight with the rope climb, but then they're going to increase the load on the clean and jerk, even though it's a um, quick reps, five, four, three, two, one. So I think still going to be a sprint. Yeah. Are you ready to? Are you ready to put this redemption? Song? Redemption. So saga to an end. Redemption. It's time. It's time. It's time, it's time to, to put it down. That. Put it down. I saw the weightlifting shoes or just these. They're pretty good. Can this be done just unbroken? Just go, 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 go? Yes. We'll see. They're coming to jerks, man. Yeah. Both times, they will. <laughs> hey, brother. When's the last time you've done this uh, thing? This is going to breathe, so we're going to... Uh, about a week ago, but that was 20 feet. I haven't done a 15 foot rope climb in a while, so I like it. Last year, if anyone recalls, I um, did one rope climb <laughs> in that final event, and uh, since then, um, you know, I've been doing a lot more. I have a couple guys in our gym that are military, they have that both, you know, different ways to climb it, so I'm a lot better. So hopefully, I get through the five and keep going. <laughs> Anything more than one would be a, a better bet for me. So. 30 reps, 15 foot rope, pulls right around five, five plus minutes. It's, really light, right? it's, uh, it's a good workout. It's, pretty light. it's good for me. It's, uh, I should be able to do well in this workout. Um, I think it's who has the best efficiency while climbing a rope. We'll find out. Why do you, why do, you do the game? That's a good question. Um, I love CrossFit. I mean, I'm sure you've heard that a lot. But I think more than that, I like competing. Um, and then, even more on top of that, uh, love representing Hawaii. Um, you know, we're a smaller state. CrossFit's still kind of starting up. And I think the more I do this, the more people see what CrossFit's about. And I think for me, that's a really cool thing. How do you feel about rope climbing? It's it's not my best, but it's not, not my weaknesses. Maybe it's, I I surprised there are so many technical movements. The first three or four, and there is coming a, a five. The fifth exercise there is a just the bar pull ups. It, uh, snatch. Uh, what is the 
last one. Scotch, really cool. And farmer smoking. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's not the kind of. But you're doing well. Yeah. One other time. One other time. Yeah. How is, will you um, do? You use your feet when you climb the rope? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> how old are you? 26. And uh, how old how are you? I put 5'3", but I'm really 5'2". <laughs> and uh, how much do you weigh? About a buck 20. Were 20. you at the 2018? I... No, 09. I didn't do 08. 09. You qualified... And you qualified for... Qualified for 09 didn't compete. Um, grandfather passed away in June, so the timing was really bad, but um, family first, so that's good real. And so, and then you did 2010? Did 210, yes, yeah, last, last year. And then here you are for 11. Here I am for 11. What do you guys talk about when you're uh, just chilling with the you know, honestly, man, everybody here guys? Way over it's actually pretty cool. All these guys here are like the type of guy that you'd want to hang out with. It's like a lot of competitions you have, no offense to other competitions, but you have a lot of weird people and you don't necessarily, you would never associate yourself with them outside the, the competition, but all these guys I would easily go out of my way to hang out with. They would be my bros outside this. And of course, if they would hang out with me. I think I, have fall, I, I fall into that weird category, I guess, the guy you choose whether or not to hang out with, but uh, it's definitely an awesome, awesome environment to compete in because these guys are... Mo Pretty much everyone's going, wants you to go as hard as you can, wants you to do as best as you can. And it's a very supportive group of badass athletes. Are you ready for this? As ready as I can be. Um, I want to say yes. I want to say there's a little bit more I could have done to prepare, but at the same time, I want to say, yeah, I'm as ready as I can be right now. Is, uh, how important is winning to you? Winning, not so much. I think my main goal is to get through all three days and make it to the last workout again. Um, and then along that, you know, just enjoy what you're doing and make sure you have fun because it's going to be Sunday real soon and you might, you know, have never enjoyed a moment of this. Um, so yeah, that's my goal to get to the end. <laughs> sure, it'll be cool with that. Well, cool. Rest up. Congratulations. Kick ass out there. It's going to be fun to watch. Savan, how are you? Good, dude. Just... Um, I've just been trying to watch everything and talk to as many people as I can so that, you know, just got little things. What's, what's the professional term? You've been in this industry more than I have. Uh, add value, you know, to what's going on. Like, people can see what's happening on the screen. They can see the scoreboard, but, you know, they're not, you know, we're, we're lucky that we can come here and I can talk to Christy, I can talk to Rob Orlando, I can talk to whoever and just kind of see what's going on in their head. So I'm just trying to get as many of those little nuggets as I can so we can sprinkle them in to the broadcast later on and hopefully make it cool. Good. Okay, so let's discuss things. What's, what's judging like and have you fucked up any calls? And... Um, to my knowledge, I haven't uh, messed up any calls. Uh, you know, with the push-ups um, on the beach workout, there's always a little bit of um, you know, hard to maintain the plank, but I, you know I, I'm pretty confident that uh, that the calls went as they as they should. So, um, and then other than that, I haven't had too many calls to make. I was out there measuring uh, the handstand walks. Uh, the L sit was 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 pretty easy, um, and um, and I sat out this this affiliate event that's going on right now. So as of as of now, everything is great and. Uh, being a judge is a lot of work and a lot of fun. Cut. What's going on? Just figuring out opening ceremonies. This is a pretty good day so far. This is the uh, how often you see events going on here that I'm not tied up with. So that, that I'm not tied up with. So it's good. We got shit rolling where I can step away. Event one this morning was was probably top two or three events we've ever done in the CrossFit Games are just memories and...
think I'm just going to go with all the plates. 395. I think it's 365. No, all the bumpers are 365, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then there's 30 pounds. more pounds with yeah. the 10s and 5s. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start with 365, take, go to 390. That's enough for you? We'll get more yeah. out there if you want we'll it. Get it. Let's maybe, yeah. Have it on standby? Maybe have another. We'll have it on standby for you. We'll have some more, some more uh, change out there. Trust it, brother. That's the same guy that thrusted 325. I think, I think his name is Danny um, from, from uh, TJ's gym in NorCal. And he wanted to know what all the bumper plates and all the change was, which I think is 395. And I, I just wanted to make sure he had enough if he wanted to go bigger, you know, because he's a big, strong guy. Do you think he's really going to be able to clean it? I think he can clean 365 for sure. After I don't know. After all those rope lines? Yes. He's, he's, I mean, did you see him? Do you want to bet? Always. Okay, how much should we bet? I don't know. Something okay. horrible. Some sort of horrible physical task. No, fuck that. <laughs> and shit like that, you know what I mean? It was, uh, the crowd was insane. The, the workout was just brutal. I mean, we're talking a 30 plus minute workout. I haven't seen that in a few years. big though when I did the thruster. Yeah? Yeah. Is it enjoyable? It's exciting. Like oh yeah. One of the best times of my life. How long did it Love take it. you? Do you think you can go out there and do it now like the recovery? Was that the big issue? Um, I don't know what it was. I cleaned 395 and just couldn't stand up with it. I think bringing my feet up, my hips were smoked. On the clean you really need hip. And how about the rope yes. climb? Did that take a lot out of your hands? Oh yeah. That yeah, definitely wasn't my specialty. And uh, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay, and how much do you weigh? 240. And how long have you been uh, Seven months. And what's your name? Danny Nichols. Are you going to see you next year too? Yeah, of course. Right. I'll be here. That's a lot. There's a lot of beef in here today. There's a lot of beef. You can clean your jerk now. You can clean your 365. Do you want to do another road trip? I do. I want to do one bad. Yeah, so if people want to see Dave Lipson do road trip, they should make a comment in, the, in this video, right? Yes, comment on this video. And the road trip could be anything. It could just be a Vegas trip or, uh, you know, whatever. Come on, whatever kind of fun. I think it would be cool to have the CrossFit community recommend what type of road trip we should do. And they could come up with ideas and it could be whatever. It could be like the Muppets movie. Yeah. And would you bring your iPad and your Facebook along? We'd bring all my toys. Yeah, I prefer entertaining over funny. Bill's got the coolest tattoo in Crowley City CrossFit. He's got the coolest CrossFit tattoo. It's a really cool tattoo. I was making fun of it. Here's the question. If you have an athlete who's in the games, do you, do you, if you have an athlete, here's the question. If you have an athlete who's in the games, um, do you tell them not to sleep in a bed or bang anyone else during the events? Like on the nights of the events, do you not bang? Uh, depends. If you're going Russian, with the Russian methodology, yes, you do. The uh, Russian do. Yeah. The Russian uh, methodology is also don't shower. Yes. It's, 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 it's all about, there's a lot of sexual activity in, in Russian volume training. Um, it depends on the athlete, I think. I say no. I, I say the I stick by the old Rocky Balboa that women weaken legs, and you should not do that with anyone or yourself. Save your strength for the event. I go I go by the Slump Busters mantra, based on my experience with Slump Busters. I like it. It's good. Hey. Chuck Carswell. Yay! Do you bang on the days of big competition? Do you, do you get busy? Do you get, or do you just take those days off? No, you, no, no, no. You don't show any restraint. You let it all hang out, baby. This is the CrossFit Games. Nothing's changed. It's been the same way every year. Locations may have changed. Well, no, no, I'm talking about if you're an athlete. Yeah. And you have a honey with you on the trip. Yeah. 
What, what are you asking me? Do you bang on the days that you're competing, or do you just try to show a little restraint and sleep alone? Uh, I'm not a games competitor, so I can't answer. I can answer for a judge. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you know, there's there's some boxers and, and athletes like that that like that would probably say that that's not an option. But uh, you know, you can show some restraint, but it's, sometimes you probably can't. So you know, Mariana, if you had if you, you have some athletes here, right? No. No athletes here. Well, you friends. If you, if you did have some athletes yes. here, would you recommend that they don't get busy on the days of competition that they sleep alone? Show there is restraint? a theory actually that that helps performance. That you do bang? Yeah, that it'll help performance. There's actually a theory because... An unproven theory or a proven theory? Um, I'm sure there's many studies. <laughs> it's still a it's, theory though. Well, you know, it needs multiple trials okay. and testing and, and variety of subjects. Mm -hmm. That could be a project that, that you're in charge of, Chad. <laughs> no, you don't want to be in charge of that project. Chad, I'm asking the yeah. hardest question I've asked any judge. Okay. A rep occurs and it's fucking so borderline you don't know. Yeah. What's the question? Do you give it to them? Or yep. does it, do you give them the benefit of the doubt or do you know rep them? I think you have to know rep them, honestly. Even though if you're not sure, if it's like just like, fuck, I don't know. If you're unsure, then yeah. it didn't happen. One thing we all know about good movement, is, it's been said so many times, I think Sherwood says it all the time too, is that good movement is obvious to everyone. There is no interpretation about it. It's good from across the room, it's good standing right up close to me. Isn't that the, the analogy that Boz uses? If, you're, if your sister comes to you on Sunday and is like, is this skirt too short to wear to church? And you have to be like, if you have to ask, it's too short. Yeah, done. That answers the question. You go to church. Let's go, let's go no rep on three. Let's do a team judgment. I love it. Team judgment. Okay. One, two, three. Team, team judgment! Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, here's what has to happen. For right now, we don't have a meeting point in the stadium because there's so much craziness going on. Adrian, can you, can you do it? Can you do it for, for me? What's that, Savon? Can you do it for me? Oh, <laughs> <No> rap. <laughs> that was just a one-time thing for this workout. We're going to take you back to do the four sheet stuff. So, when you, say, when you say go back to the stuff. You don't have a meeting spot for the judges today? That's no, because usually we'll use the track out there, the oh, soccer field. That's what they're but setting up. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Hey, Adrian. Let them know when you give them your brief that after they had their little break that you give them, their food is going to be down here. I know. Yeah. 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 You want to try the smaller one? Yeah. All right. I don't think I can do that one. Rob, what are you doing? Um, everybody was hanging around the tires, but nobody had the balls to take them out. So um, I just put one on the ground and said, who wants to flip it? And we have lines now. So just playing around with some tires. Better, better than going to the beach, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> better than an ocean swim. Um, no, the high gear allows you to go real time, real speed relative to your level. So I could take a raw beginner who's, let's say, a, uh, let's say I say Andy's going to be the bad guy. A lot of people, there are certain obstacles, a lot of people are afraid to hit other humans. So yeah. one of the things that Starrett talked about is that, you know, contact with a human and that's the combatives. One of the things that, that, you know, we get really strong, we dial in our nutrition and then someone are says... Are you afraid to hit a human, another human? He's got a different back. Not really. No, no, he's, he's actually <laughs> looking forward to the yeah. opportunity. If you ask me a question like that, again, yeah, he's just going to go like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so, so no, we, so, so the high gear can be used uh, as a buffer for someone who's like, like a psychological uh, inhibition, you know, uh, to strike another human, or worrying about what about my face, what about my teeth, they got the gear on. But then there's a higher level to the training, and that is like, you know, you don't have a fighting background, we can put you in gear and put you in this, this corridor here and teach you principles of multiple sailing, but you'd be able to do that full speed, full intensity, but not worry about leaving part of your elbow on a wall or part of your face on a wall if you slipped, if you fell. Going out.
out for opening ceremonies. What do you guys do when you go out there? We stand and wave, I think. I'm not quite sure. We went through it, but we just kind of stood out there. They announced us and we walked around and went up in the stands. It was the first day we did it. It was okay. It was a little rough. We kind of favored the bigger people, but it was good. It was fun. We're ready for tomorrow. So. Can you guys come in top six? We're, we're going to try. We're out, we're out there for for top six on Sunday, so we're going to try our best. Are they going to make runs today? I don't know. I, I really don't know, so hopefully they don't. Where's the dudes on the team? There's the three dudes up there on our team. <laughs> team the tall ones. It's funny how I didn't even see them. So I know, weird, huh? Yeah, I totally <laughs> Hi guys, just one of you guys. What up, what what up, up dude? Camera time. Okay, Libby, so what are we talking about? <laughs> the tall guys? Yeah. Such That's a bad right. Ricky, Ricky Posto, um, <laughs> can you just top six? Uh, yeah. Yeah? We gotta win some, though. Yeah? We gotta how's, win. Uh, how's Kyle doing? Is he pulling his weight? No. Yeah, he's pulling his weight. We just gotta go harder. Yeah, you want to go ahead. Northeast, hold! Hold! Northeast! 